Neil, I heard a statement this morning that DMG Mori has 40% of the UK five axis market. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. It's quite unbelievable as well. But the reason is, is because our, our range of five axis machines, we have different style tables, we have different style heads. Most of our competitors have maybe one, maybe two different types of five axis. Um, we've probably got eight variants. Well, well, and this is one of them. Let's talk about this. This is a new model. This is a CMX 50U. Now, to me, looking at from the outside in, this looks like a, a classic job shop machine. Is it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, it's our entry level five axis machine, and it's three plus two. Um, but that's what a lot of people want. But also, let's remember this: it's a very accurate machine. You know, people get entry level and they say, "Oh, maybe it's um, not as accurate." This one is. Um, and as you can see, it's one setup, very small footprint, uh, and the part will come off virtually complete, just a six sided machine. We often say that for granted, actually, about the precision and the accuracy. How did DMG Mori make their machines so accurate? Well, first of all, we fit the machines with uh, glass scales or direct measuring. It is an option, but we'd always recommend it. Uh, and also our thermal compensation. And it's the build of the machine. It's decent spindles, it's decent guideways, and the machine's put together properly. So is this a case of DMG Mori saying that not everybody needs a DMU 60 Evo like we've looked at with the 80 metres a minute, uh, linear drive motors, all that sort of technology? Uh, you know, they can satisfy both ends of the market. Yeah, they can. You know, when we look at the evolution and uh, more uh, te technically advanced machines, um, they're for different types of parts, with simultaneous parts. You know, a lot of motorsport use we use evolution, which they need. But this is a job shop machine, so you can put the part on, you can you can machine the top face, you can spin round do all the other faces with angles as well, and it'll also go to a negative angle of 15 degrees. Okay, what about the control solutions on here? What's the options? Okay, there's two options on this. Um, we've got the Siemens, but if you take a look at the control, it's what we call the multi-touch screen. So there's very few hard keys. So everything is on um, uh, a touch, touch screen uh, operating. And we've now fitted, now we're now fitting the Heidenheim as well with exactly the same multi-touch screen. So it's easy to keep clean, you can wipe it over, and it's more durable because a lot of the times you have to, you have to replace keyboards because they wear the moving parts. Yet again, no moving parts, we can, and it's almost iPad technology. Uh, what, what about the, uh, the, the expandability of this as well? Uh, there's lots of talk on the stand today about um, you know, production and, and, and you know, pallet pulls and things like that. Is, is that something that you can adapt or, or add to this type of machine? Yeah, we can do that as well because this machine hasn't, uh, isn't equipped with the pH or workpiece handling, but we can do it. And all we do is, again, we fit a door on the right-hand side of the machine, uh, which then enables the, PA, the, the pallet changing to come through. But this particular machine has only got 30 tools but we would recommend to go 60 tools, which is also possible, and then we can put the pallet changer on as well, because even more simple parts, which require five axis positioning, um, can require uh, pallet handling or workpiece handling. I'd say there's gonna be a very big market and a demand for this. Have you, have you sold these machines already? Yeah, we've, sold, we've been selling them for years, um, and I wouldn't like to hazard a guess at how many there are just in the UK, but uh, it's a very good seller. And I'm also told, Neil, that the machine, we're talking about £150,000 for this. So what would I get for that? We're actually talking less than £150,000. But with that, you get 30 tools, you get direct measuring, obviously um, a, three, a five axis table. Um, what about therm all the thermal compensation and stuff like that? Yeah, that's all for less than £150,000. So, so it's, it's hardly, uh, it's certainly not an entry level machine, is it? Well, it, well, it is our entry level. Um, and when you think of the, of the complexity of the parts you can make on this machine, it seems not, but it is.